congratulations on your purchase of a JetGo ground power unit. All JetGo GPUs are designed to provide years of dependable service when operated and maintained properly. This short video will outline some of the features and maintenance practices that will keep your JetGo GPU in top-notch condition for years to come. Thanks for choosing Aero Specialties as your equipment provider. You can count on our AOG support to keep you up and running 24-7, 365 days a year. Pre-start checks. Important, never perform service checks or maintenance with the engine running. Non-corrosive casing. The GPU casing is manufactured using fiberglass. The casing is marine grade and UV resistant and will not rust or corrode. To keep the high quality finish in great condition, use an automotive or marine type polish. This can also be used to remove most scuff marks and stains. All other hardware affixed to the casing is stainless steel to ensure long product lifespan. Opening case to access all mechanical components. Using the quick release rubber latch at the front of the unit, the top portion of the case will easily open to allow access to the engine and generator components. Be careful when closing the casing not to catch or pinch clothing or body parts. Fuel tap shut off. The fuel tap should always be in the vertical open or on position. For maintenance or shipping, rotate the fuel tap lever to the horizontal off position to cut off the fuel supply. Prior to initial use, verify the fuel tap is in the on position. Fuel filter sight bowl. Before starting daily operations, check for any water contamination in the fuel sight bowl. The fuel filler sight bowl assembly is mounted to the outboard side of the fuel tank. If a small amount of water is present, it should be drained prior to use. If the bowl has noticeable debris or an excessive amount of water is present, the filter should be replaced immediately. Otherwise, maintain filter during normal scheduled maintenance as recommended in your Kubota service manual. Fuel filling. Refill the fuel tank by opening the green fuel filler lid. Take care not to overfill the nine US gallon capacity tank. For your safety, Never remove the flame arresting filler neck and allow the unit to cool down for at least 10 minutes prior to fuel service. Close and latch the green lid securely after refilling and properly clean any accidental fuel spills that may have occurred during refueling. Checking the oil. Remove the oil dipstick and wipe with a cloth. Reinsert and remove again to check that the oil level is sufficient. Add oil as required. Make sure that the dipstick is reinserted completely following the oil check. Properly clean any accidental oil spills that may have occurred during service. Checking coolant level. Coolant level can be monitored using the white coolant reservoir bottle by the radiator. Coolant level should be between the upper and lower quantity lines at all times. When unit is cold, the coolant should be close to the lower line. Once the unit is up to temperature, the level will rise to the upper line. Should your unit require additional coolant, extreme caution must be exercised. Remember, coolant is hot when the unit is at operational temperature and can cause severe burns and or death. Never remove the radiator cap when the unit has been running. Allow unit to cool completely, then cover cap with a towel and slowly rotate the cap. Let pressure escape prior to completely removing the cap. Add coolant to the top of the inner tank and replace cap. Add coolant to the reservoir's lower cool line. Remove all tools, gloves, and rags from the area and start your unit. Allow unit to run for 15 minutes and adjust level in reservoir accordingly. Operating Procedures Fuel Check System Depress the fuel level button before starting the GPU. Check the fuel level indicated on the control panel gauge. Add fuel as required. Approximately one half gallon prior to running out of fuel, the fuel shutoff switch will automatically shut down the engine. Refill the fuel tank and restart the engine. This switch eliminates the need for traditional bleeding of a diesel fuel system when running out of fuel. Easy start and operation of GPU. Depress the green button to start the GPU. 
Unit will take a few seconds to preheat the engine glow plugs and will automatically start upon reaching the preferred engine temperature. If the engine does not automatically start the first time, it will attempt an automatic restart up to two more times until the preferred engine starting temperatures are reached. Please keep in mind that depressing the red button will cancel this function. Contactor switch and flow of current. Visually inspect the DC output cable for excessive wear or damage. Attach output cable head to aircraft receptacle plier to closing contactor. Move the momentary toggle switch to the on position to close the contactor and provide current to the aircraft. At this time, the green contactor on indicator will illuminate. Move the momentary toggle switch to the off position to open the contactor and stop the flow of current to the aircraft. Always start and stop the GPU with the contactor in the off position. Static power supply. Your versatile JetGo GPU may also be used for aircraft maintenance without running the diesel engine. Aircraft systems will be supported with a 24 volt DC power supply, allowing for in hangar and ramp maintenance operations. Attach output cable head to aircraft receptacle and close the contactor switch. In static mode, the voltometer will not display a voltage reading. However, 24 volt DC power is being supplied to the aircraft. You should be limited to short periods as the unit's aircraft starting batteries will be discharged during static use. Over discharging can cause damage to the aircraft start batteries. Ensure that following engine starts or 24 volt static operations, you allow the GPU a minimum of 10 minutes to recharge before performing additional engine starts. You will generally find that your JetGo is already at 90% or greater state of charge before the pilot is ready to initiate his aircraft engine start procedures. Batteries should always be at greater than 25.65 volts to provide the recommended aircraft starting amperage. Easy shutdown. Depress the red button to shut down the unit's engine. On the 550 MTI unit, this will reduce the engine to an idle state for approximately one minute and will then automatically shut down. This assists the cooling and lubrication of the turbocharger, allowing for longer equipment life. The 28 ECO will shut down immediately upon depressing the red button. Brake System Our unique brake system is very simple and fail-safe in its operation. The design on the standard unit is an over-center actuator that positively locks into place when you apply foot pressure to the pedal. To release, simply apply upward pressure with your foot. This design ensures that if the operator was to attempt to tow the GPU with the brake set, it will contact the ground and release automatically. On the RJ trailer matter units, release the standard tow bar actuated brake with hand or foot as you would on any aerospecialties trailer matter unit. Towing hitch operation. To extend the tow bar, first remove the ball lock pin and extend the tow bar out until it stops. Reinsert the ball lock pin in the available slot and ensure it is securely locked. The GPU can now be easily lifted using the ergonomic lift handle and fitted to the receiver of the towing vehicle. The tow bar has a safety stop device that will prevent the tow bar from separating from the GPU. However, if the ball lock pin is not securely inserted, the tow bar could retract when coming to a stop. When towing is completed, or when pushing by hand, retract the tow bar and insert the locking pin. Always set the foot brake when the unit is not in motion. Limit the ramp towing speed to 12 miles per hour. On the RJ series trailer matter units, the tow bar is a conventional attachment. Brakes will be set automatically when the tow bar is locked in its upright position. Maintenance Overview Grease Points on Wheels and Casters The GPU has Zerk grease points on the wheels and casters and should be lubricated regularly during scheduled PM service. Main Tire Replacement Single Pin Design the pneumatic tires and wheels on the main axles have been equipped with quick release pins to aid in the removal and refit of a tire to minimize downtime. Take care when jacking up the GPU to ensure the jack is in contact with the steel chassis and not the fiberglass casing. Inflate the tires to the maximum pressure as per the PSI noted on the sidewall of the tire. This will aid in the hand maneuvering of the GPU. 
oil change. The rubber drain hose is located at the base of the GPU. A suitable containment tray will be needed when draining the oil. Open the petcock valve on the bottom of the sump, noting the protection latching device. Oil will then flow through the hose into your containment tray. Ensure that the petcock is fully closed and safety latched before refilling with oil. Remove the oil filter with a counterclockwise rotation. Clean filter mounting, service, and replace oil filter per the manual's recommendation. Lightly lubricate the new oil filter seal with clean oil and secure with a three-quarter turn following filter seal contact with the engine. Please allow the unit to cool down prior to oil service. Properly clean any accidental oil spills that may have occurred during service. Check engine fan belt. At the recommended Kubota service intervals, the fan belt should be checked for condition and tension. Belt tension should only allow roughly one half to three quarter inches of play or movement. Replace as necessary. Do not perform this inspection when the unit is running. Air filter. To remove the air filter, unsnap the retaining clips and remove the cover to expose the air filter. Gently pull the filter element out of the housing and discard. Install new filter and a fixed cover to filter housing ensuring the dust spout is pointed in the downward direction. Air inlets and outlet. Assure that the inlet and outlet screens are clean and unobstructed. These allow for the engine and generator airflow required to assure long performance of your unit. Electrical components, weatherproof. All main electrical components and fuses are stored in a weatherproof compartment found underneath the instrument panel. Using a 1 8 inch Allen key, remove the six screws to gain access to these compartments. If the fuses are blown or need replacing, they will illuminate when the green on switch is depressed. Replace all blown fuses with the same type noted in the manual. Simple, safe, and dependable. Your Jetco unit is designed to provide years of dependable ramp service when maintained and operated properly. You can count on the AOG support at Aero Specialties to keep you up and running. Thank you for choosing Aero Specialties as your GSE provider.